Welcome back and welcome to anyone who's new. I am Sandy and today I am playing around. I've had these vintage bingo cards for a while. So I grabbed out a few of them. I thought it would be fun to um, decorate these up and jazz them up a little bit. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I just want to thank everyone for being here and supporting me. And if you would remember to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what you think about this uh, project and tell me what you're working on. I hope everyone's having a good day. So I grabbed out several different items from my um, stash and I thought I would try and do kind of a different technique on each one of these bingo cards and um, give you all some different ideas of ways to decorate them up. You could also do this on other items besides bingo cards. So yeah, so come along with me and let's see, let's see what I can come up with. So I want to do a big shout out to my Patreon members. Um, thank you all so much for your all support. Um, I have just sent out the March Patreon Happy Mail for the Bluegrass tier. So if that is something you're interested in, then please hop on over um, to my Patreon membership and check that out. Might be something you might be interested in. So I have some of these flowers here, I'm trying to decide what I might want to do. I received this in happy mail from one of my patrons from Deborah, so I thought that might be fun to use and maybe put a little stamp up here or something. I think that's nice, so that could be an option. Um, I also picked up um, at Hobby Lobby these neat little die cuts here. Uh, pocket watch, typewriter, some butterflies and stuff. So about a pocket watch might be kind of fun to put on the corner here. Something like that. So I think that's an option. Also kind of have this wildflower with some fern and a little label, a little butterfly there. And here's some of this. This is a Tim Holtz ruler, and that might be kind of neat to put a little bit of that along the border here. So that's an option. I like all of those. And then another one. If you wanted, you could decorate all of the bingo cards with these flower stickers. Yeah. So I like all of those. So I think any of those could work. So let me start by inking up this bingo card. It's a real nice um, chipboard and I'll probably cover the back with some um, vintage book page. I think that might might look nice on the back or I could just do some tea dyed paper and then I could journal on the back so that's an option so let me grab my ink have you decorated up bingo cards before let me know leave a comment down below I'm still working on my mushroom journal, so I thought one of these would look nice in the mushroom journal. So let me put a little washi tape. I think I'll go with this kind of orange color here. And I think I might go with this one here. I mean, I love them all. Um, 
I really like these stickers I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby. Don't know if I want to go all the way around. Now let me know if you have something like this. Are you okay with covering up all of the bingo card or do you like to have some of it or most of it still show i am of the camp that you know it, it's a vintage bingo card so i would still like to be able to kind of tell it's a vintage bingo card you know so I like to have some of it see uh, see through, if you can see it. And then I do think I'm gonna put a little piece of this. I don't know if I'll put all of it or just some of it. And I don't know, do I want to have this where I trim it off or do I want it all the way on there? I'm going to go all the way on there, but I think that's an, also a, a neat effect is to have it hang off the edge and then you can trim it, trim it down, but I think I'm just going to do the whole thing right there. And see, I like how you can still see the numbers behind it. Very cool. And then... I want to ink up this guy. Ink up this guy. So I think I'll put him down here. Or would I rather have this smaller one? I like this one better. So I'm going to glue the butterfly down. Hope you're doing well. Yesterday was my husband's birthday, so we went out to dinner. We went to Ruth Chris Steakhouse, which was delicious. And then today, I think I am gonna trim this. We took my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, um, thought it would be fun to take her and we could go get ice cream for Chris's birthday. And uh, so she had fun, we did that. And I thought it was gonna be a lot colder today, but it actually turned out to be quite nice. Put that there. Perfect. And you could also sew around the edges on these. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I haven't decided. I'm going to put a little bit more like this here. All right, so that is the first way, is using these vinyl transparent stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I just added a few little ephemera pieces there and just kind of showed you some different options. So put that over here. So that is the first, first way you can decorate up a bingo card. So let me grab another one. And so on this one, I thought it would be fun to play around with these um, Tim Holtz little tiny paper dolls. 
And so I thought it would be fun to put the um, butterfly wings behind her. And if you have the transparent butterfly wings, that would even be really kind of cool too. So let me ink this one up. But yeah, after we went and got ice cream, we actually played outside for a little bit. The sun was out a little bit. So then, see here, so most of the bingo card is still visible. And maybe I'll have, no, I kind of like that specimen card. Stick with that one. Let's glue this one down. And you could, if you wanted to, just glue the middle part down and kind of fold up the wings. If you wanted to give it a little three-dimensional, I might um, just kind of glue the middle down in case. Well, this isn't a sticker, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Just making sure. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, and I do want to do some washi tape as well. This is so cute. And I'm gonna decide if I want to go with the orange again. smidge of linen tape on here too. This is the Tim Holtz linen tape. stick out. And it's good to trim this down before you take the backing off so you don't get the glue all over your scissors. Get it off my finger. It's so sticky. There we go. <laughs> and then we'll put that. And look, we have a little uh, per butterfly person as our specimen. And then we'll just put that right there. something up here. I'm not sure what yet, so I'm going to set that aside. Alright, so the third um, idea I had to decorate this up was using this, um, I got this book from Tapeology, Tapeology, I don't know if I'm saying that right, 
and these are little transparent so I thought that would be fun to uh, put these on here and there's just pages and pages of all these fun little stickers and then they have some papers in the back um, and I thought maybe I saw a little fairy in here so I thought it'd be fun to put a fairy on here and I wanted to put kind of like a little collage so I was thinking about using this but I don't know if I want something that has a little bit more of a it isn't so square Got some labels here like something like that that could be interesting put that on there So, so let me know what you think of these ideas remember to hit the like button and leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe wax seals also Lots of different options here. This is what I was looking for. There were some little tiles, if I can find them. Butterfly might be nice up here. All right, so that's a fun and easy way to decorate up a bingo card and layering. I think that all looks nice. And then I do want to add some more washi tape. I do really like these from Stationery Pal. I like that they're transparent a little bit. And maybe a little bit of linen tape. I 
Keep it right there. Okay. So those are so far three of them decorated. So one is with these transparent stickers from Hobby Lobby. Here we got some Tim Holtz. And here we have some um, these stickers from Taper Taper Lodgy. They're like uh, vellum stickers. So I kind of put these up here. Can y'all still? Yeah, y'all can still see that. And so let's see. Number four. Um, this one is also a Taper Lodgy. For part of it. Um, but it's using these rub-ons here. Dirty it up a little. So these rub-ons, I'll need to cut out the pieces I want to use. But these are really cool. And I think I want to do the fern. Yeah, and then we'll start with the fern. And the way these work, you, um, you'll, it is a little tricky because you have to cut out what you want to rub on. rub them onto anything. You can rub them onto fabric, um, pretty much anything. And then the hard part's getting the backing off. And then I think I'm going to put it kind of over here. And then you have to rub pretty hard get it to come off. And there it's on. I think that's really neat. And I thought it would be fun, I think, to put that with a mushroom. So I have, so I have some mushrooms in here as an option. So we could put one of these big mushrooms on here. I'm thinking about that. And then I do have these stickers here. And these are a little transparent. I like this one. 
try not to overthink it too much. And I might put, I don't know if I want to put the pine cone on there or not, maybe. So we'll leave that out for now. Like that, and then I think I want some sort of little specimen card. That's a little too big. That one could be nice. Could also do a little stamp sticker as well. But I think I'd like to do some washi tape also. Washi. This is just so much fun. I'm having so much fun just kind of playing around figuring things out. So I do like that. On the side there. Okay, and we can put that up there. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, so if you haven't checked out these rub-ons from Taperlogy, I invite you to check them out. And then I'm not sure where I got these mushroom stickers. I'm thinking, oh, I went a little too dark there, yikes. It's because I didn't use this, darn it. Try to pick some of that up here in a minute. That's what happens when you use the wrong tool. But the mushrooms could have been from a Your Creative Studios box, maybe. All right, I think I want a little washi tape up top. And then that is the fourth one. Yep, don't think I'll use that. And I think I will definitely go back and either add a little bit of lace or add um, some of this trim or some of this trim. So I will show you all that. Okay. back in there. All right. And then my next so this is a um, so I'm debating between two of them. So this one here, these are um, stickers. I don't remember where I got them. So I apologize. So I'm toying between this little set here and just having a call collect. Just thought that was kind of funny from the moon. Or having this here and then the little key. And I have a, a little sticker in here. This sticker here that I thought would be neat to put underneath that. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this is the antiquarium sticker book. It's, um, if you're trying to build up your stash, it's a pretty good book to get. Um, I got it on Amazon. And I don't know if I am going to, I'm thinking I'm going to leave her whole body there. But then I'm wondering if I should just do that part. No, I kind of like the whole body. So what do you all think? Or should I cut it off? Oh gosh. Yeah, maybe I'll cut it off. Okay. Where'd my scissors go? I think they're... 
Well, I hope you all are still with me. Let me know if you're still with me. Let's see if I can find another use for her bottom part of her body. And then we'll put that over top of that. I like finding new ways to use this stuff. Let's see if I can get this put down. I mean, I suppose you could cut that out, but I don't really want to. There we go. Not bad. And then, so for the washi tape, this could be interesting. These are from um, Daiso. Just going with it, folks. Let me know what you all think. And then I think the key. That. Okay, so that is number five. So I hope this is inspiring you and giving you some ideas. And then the last one is decoupaging with a napkin. And I think I just want to kind of decoupage like around here. So I'm going to trim this up and then I'll be back. And I got all the extra uh, plies off of there. Now, uh, Mod Podge you can use. You can use P PVA glue. Um, I am just going to use my glue stick. And then I'll probably go back and I'll put Mod Podge over the top once it's dry. try to find a butterfly to put up on the top. So hopefully this video hasn't been too long for you all. Let me know if you're still with me. how you can still see the bingo card through that. I'm going to trim this off. You can also use um, a little paintbrush with some water and um, it'll dissolve away the uh, tissue paper. All right, and then let me see if I can find a pretty butterfly. This is another one called the Bees, Birds, and Butterflies sticker book. I actually found this at Joanne's. A bee actually could be kind of fun. All right, so I went through this book and I'm toying with either the bee or this butterfly and I think, I think I'm going to go with this butterfly. I like that butterfly 
And I think I'm going to fussy cut some of this white out, so I'll be back. I have fussy cut this out. I don't know how good a job I did, but it's going to work. And then I'm going to put that back there. There we go. And then again, I will add some, I don't know if this one needs washi tape, I might add a little bit. So here we are, here are the six different ways. I am going to do a little more just kind of final touch embellishing, embellishing with some lace or some other little things. So I will come back on and kind of show that to you. But I have finished decorating these up so i wanted to show you the final details so on each one i've added this uh, felt tab and i got this felt from hobby lobby they were in these um, groupings like this and they were i think about eleven dollars but they were forty percent off which i think is a great deal and then the other thing i did each one's a little bit different but I added um, a little stamping on some of these. You can see down here. And then I added, I have this washi tape that looks like stitching. And so I added a little bit um, on this one. So I didn't add too much more um, onto that one. And then the next one, the second one I did, this is with the Tim Holtz dolls. And so here I added some background stamping with my script stamp. I added a little postage stamp. Um, I added a dragonfly. I added this little label, washi tape label, and I stamped the word wish in there. And then some more of that stitching um, washi tape. You can see that around here. I think that adds a nice detail. And then the third one, this was um, the fairies, the taper lodgy. Uh, thin washi tape stickers and on this one I did some more stamping I did dragonflies and the little postage stamp I also added this washi tape I got from um, Daiso it's not tape but it's a, on a roll it's roses and then some more of the stitched washi tape around here and then some more stamping of dragonflies and some little flowers um, like the, the dandelion puffs. So I think that turned out nice. And then the fourth one, this was with the Taper Lodgy rub-ons and more of a botanical look. So I added um, the um, script stamp in the background and then these butterflies kind of flying off and then some more of that zigzag stitch right there. And then number five, this was a Victorian look. And I added a, a sticker here. She's an old soul with young eyes, a vintage heart, and a beautiful mind. And that was from that um, Taper Lodgy book. Did some scroll stamp here in black and little stars. And then I added um, another little sticker here of a ticket. And some more of that rose um, washi tape there and then the last one was with the decoupage napkin and I stamped the script stamp on top of the napkin and I used um, archival ink on that since I'm going to Mod Podge over it more of the uh, stitching washi tape the postage stamp the butterfly stamp and then I did a little of this stamp that looks like a, a beehive honeycomb and then on each one of them, I put um, book pages on the back, and then I did some stenciling on them. And I did the stenciling in saltwater taffy and also a vintage photo. So let me know which one of these is your favorite and leave a comment down below. And thank you for sticking with me on this video. And I just wanted to quickly show you, this was the washi tape that had the um, zigzag stitching, which I think is really neat. And then these label stickers that I used on here. 
All right. Thank you all so much. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Love y'all.